Hi guys, I wanted to talk to you about not being attached to outcomes. It's something that I say regularly to myself and in my writing. And I get where that could be confusing, right? Like, how do you live your dreams and go for your biggest goals but not be attached to the outcome? That could come off as, so you're really going after what you want but you don't care what happens? That doesn't make much sense, does it? <laughs> that doesn't sound very powerful. <laughs> so I just wanted to clarify a little bit. And to do that, I will give you an example of what's going on in my own life right now. I'm shooting for my biggest dreams. Writing a book and having it published and selling, um, pitching my own TV show. Having my own TV show. Those aren't little dreams. And even though I've lived... Um, pretty great life and I know lots of people have lots of contacts that doesn't mean anything that doesn't mean that I'm going to have a TV show handed to me that doesn't mean that I'm gonna have a publishing deal handed to me not at all so in going after these things and I don't know anything about the publishing world or the TV world I don't really have contacts there per se so I am reaching out to people all over people I know people I've met once people I know through other people People, I have no idea who they are, but I believe that they can get me where I want to go. And I'm putting myself out there and I'm putting my big dreams out there. But I am not attached to the outcome of these people's responses or their non-responses. So if I send 10 emails out and I don't get a response from any of them, that doesn't mean anything to me. That doesn't stop me. The only person that's stopping me is myself. So getting these no's back to me, if they do reply and say they're not interested or whatever, or getting no response, it doesn't limit my dream at all. It doesn't stop it. It may for me actually activate, okay, maybe I try writing it this way. Maybe I sell myself this way. Maybe I need to present myself in a more powerful way right? But I'm not, I don't let it stop me. I don't let it, you know, tell me my dreams aren't big enough. I don't let it say that I'm not going to have my dream. And, and it's also that I do have this ultimate, ultimate view of what it could look like, what I want it to look like. But knowing that it might not come up that way, that it might start a different way, and being open to these other possibilities that will get me to my ideal goal. So it's I'm not attached to my ultimate vision, right? So it's whatever your vision is, whatever you're working towards, it's not that you have it written out here, you know, and it's like check, 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 and if one of those things doesn't happen, then it's over. No, it's just like, okay, and resetting and resetting and that that goal and that dream is still there and that is what I'm focused on and, and this could be also applied with something that happens very much in day-to-day -day life is like male female relationships or or um, even with friends like oh uh, I think I don't know does that guy like me maybe he likes me do I say something do I say this what if I make a first move but what if he says no? So not being attached to that. He might say no. He might not be interested in me. And uh, not letting that affect me and who I am. That doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean that I'm not pretty. It doesn't mean I'm not funny. It doesn't mean that I'm not a cool chick. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean anything. It just means that he's not interested or he said no. So I'm still going to reach out if I generally am interested in someone. And I'm still going to bring up a conversation with someone if it's something I believe needs to happen, no matter how uncomfortable it may be, no matter what the response coming from me is. And also, learning from kids, you know, they don't hear the word no very often, or they don't pretend they know what it means. <laughs> Let's say, you know, they're asking for a piece of candy over and over and over and over and over again, no matter how many times you say no, it doesn't change their they're asking at all. They just ask more powerfully, right? So me getting no's 
me getting non-responses doesn't stop me. And it doesn't mean that I ask every five seconds, like, like some children may, asking for candy. But getting that I am allowed to ask more than once. And I am allowed to go through it with all of these things. The only person stopping me is myself.